Hi, Sean Hennigan here again in Los Angeles. Here we are at the Rality, the Reality, the Rality to Restore Salad, the Rality Restore Salad. Good luck. So here we are at the Rally to Restore Sanity and or Fear, depending on your perspective. And I'm speaking with Elaine Hendricks. Good morning, Elaine. And I noticed it's 7.30 in the morning or so. Uh, it's rained here, and that usually is enough to scare off enough Los Angelians for the rest of the day. What brought you out in this at this time of day in this kind of weather? Well, I'm here for the Restore the Sanity. Uh, down with fear, up with sanity. If I could have been in D.C., I would have, but I couldn't, so I came here. So are you calling us the cheap alternative? Yes, basically I am. So you guys came to the rally, you, you braved the weather, you beat the crowd. I mean, you well, actually, right now you didn't beat the crowd, you are the crowd. But that's <laughs> beside the point. Let's not, you know, dabble in details. And it has rained earlier today in Los Angeles. Now, this is usually the death nail for anything, because we really don't like weather. That's why we moved here. Well, I wasn't quite afraid enough today. So I came down because I wanted to get some more fear. Excellent, Sean. And what about you, Kelly? Uh, I actually wanted some more sanity in my life, so that's why I came today. And that is what we call balance. The middle story is boring, and that's why they don't tell that story, and you never get to hear it. And so I really believe the message of the rally. So, And I'm not really a person that usually it would go. You, you are really a person, by the way. I'm not usually the person, the type of person that would go out and wave signs and do the whole rally thing because I'm not an extremist. She just likes John. John, 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 John. Colbert, who? Get the hell out of here. Anyway, I know I know you love him too, right? I do. I love him. I absolutely adore Stephen Colbert too. He's amazing. That's what you get. Unprompted, honest feedback from the people here at the LA rally. All right, thank you guys for coming. Thank oh, you. wait, what's your version of sanity? What do you think sanity is? Yeah, I think sanity is is being able to listen to someone else and put aside. Okay, thanks for that. Oh wait, oh um, oh, I should practice what you're preaching. Okay, so I'm listening to you talk about sanity. I think just putting aside, just having an open mind and being able to listen to what someone else is actually saying and not just hear a few words and have this really strong visceral reaction and just put you know throw everything else aside and not be able to listen and. There's a stereotype about people who work in the military, and for a large part, it is true. But there's also a lot of people who are pretty moderate like me. You know, you kind of socially liberal and fiscally conservative types. And so, really, it's not good to stigmatize anybody for what they do, no matter where they work, correct? Exactly. I just want to support John Stewart and Stephen Colbert. I mean, they provide countless, countless hours of entertainment. I figure I can come out on a Saturday morning, show, show some support for what they're doing. I think it's cool to, like, be able to have the moderate major majority actually come out and say, hey, we're here. Hey, and there they are. She's a Danielle has accomplished her mission. Hey, we're here. And we're not queer or anything. Uh, we got we're nothing here. else. We're just here. It's, we're here, and I our chant kind of ends at that point. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're here, and yeah. We don't need anymore. That's what's the best. You don't need any more. Excellent. You just... What's your definition of sanity? Um, I don't even know that I would be my definition of sanity. <laughs> so I would probably say anybody a little less calm than me. Anyone a little less calm than you. Yeah. So somehow sanity and calmness are related. Somehow, I don't know. I'm in trouble. I know, <laughs> I, I really don't know, so. Okay. I'm actually still half asleep too, so this is not my normal calmness factor either, so. And what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear, hmm, I don't know. Lightning? I know, it sounds really horrible. Lightning. She says on a rainy day with a bunch of electronic equipment set up, there's no chance lightning's gonna, Oh, never mind. <laughs> well, I hope you wake up before you die. <laughs> so uh, I'm helping the fear aspect of the rally at this point. Team Sanity. And Team Fear. Why did you pick those? Did you guys, was it arbitrary? Did you just pick a shirt and whoever got it? Or was there a rationale that went behind your specific shirt? Her dog is scarier than mine. He's sane. I'm not. Ah. Are you fearful? Always. Here lies reasonable political discourse in America. Oh, it died. How sweet. Enough with the damn political ads already. We get it. Your opponent is the worst person in history, and you're an angel, a saint who only wants to help us all. Wow, I guess no one told Ben people don't read in the United States. That's a damn long sign. Good message? I just think you might have lost them. But, but there's pictures for those who do. Yeah, it's got colors, and it's red, and it's blue. I like those colors. My biggest fear, I think, might be clowns. Oh, wow. My definition of sanity is just trying to do something and make a difference. You know, you, that's pretty much all there is to it. Because dying once is not enough. <laughs> die, old ideas, 
die. See, we already voted. We never miss. Yeah. Wow, they've got their I voted stickers. It is Saturday, and the election is on Tuesday. These are time travelers. Woohoo! And, uh, yeah, I think it's important to, to come out here and show that uh, I had nothing better to do. <laughs> well, I think that point has been proven to the extreme. What's your definition of sanity? That's a good question. Thank you. I, I made it up myself. <laughs> so what is your definition of sanity? I believe insanity. Um, ha, <laughs> that's crazy talk. Uh, I bet no one has come up with that yet, have they? <laughs> Quarter to eight, and the funny is already happening. <laughs> <laughs> We're goalie, no, really. Being able to listen to the other side and, and, and not have a seizure while you're doing it <laughs> and not and not stomp on anyone's head. Uh, my definition of sanity is um, not calling people Hitler when I don't like them. And it's... Uh, well, what you if they are Hitler? I mean, if they are actually Hitler, then you have to call them Hitler and you should be very afraid. Then you should. Put aside maybe for one second that maybe you're, you're not right and maybe there you can learn something from someone else. I think that's what sanity is. Did she just say that I'm not right? You're not right. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Heavy! <laughs> no head stomping, no seizures, and I'm not right! I'd not be right. <laughs> Keep me a, a level head, you know? I, the one thing I don't have to worry about here is someone screaming at me, you know? No, you didn't say might! You said I'm not! You didn't say might! <laughs> might would have been okay! You know, think maybe things aren't going so well right now, but it's not the end of the world. But, but in, in, in actual seriousness, uh, I, I think Compared that, to fake seriousness. Right. I think that things are getting out of control. And I think that the, um, the infighting within this country has got to stop. Uh, let's just keep the, the discourse civil. What is your definition of sanity? Uh, Non-tea party type folks. Responsibility. Oh, so if you're irresponsible, you're insane. Good chance. Oh, yeah. And what is your definition of sanity? Uh, sanity? Yes, it's on your shirt. <laughs> he acts like he's never heard the word before. Definitely. Sanity? So you think that there should be a more consistent middle ground rather than the fringes on both sides that are dictating the policy and the actions of this country? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, the world is a hard place, and we have to make tough choices, and people always want to try and drive things on wishful thinking, but that's not reality. So I think the middle ground is where we need to be. Um, my definition of sanity would be, um, oh my gosh, uh, probably... She wants to restore something she has no idea what it is. In the context of this rally, it would really be um, just looking for people who can come up with a broader solution for America as opposed to, you know, fear-mongering and pointing fingers. Excellent. What's your biggest fear? Um, for the country or for myself? Yes. <laughs> Spiders? Not feeling like I have a voice in what's going on in my life and big, bigger than that. Like, not feeling like I don't matter is my biggest fear. If all the fighting keeps happening, then I, I'm afraid that I'm kind of losing hope. If we can rally together to work together, then we can continue to prosper and be a great country and grow. Wow, my biggest fear? Besides hordes of wiener dogs? Grasshoppers. Down escalators. Down, down escalators. Up escalators are fine. It's the yeah. down escalators that you got to watch out for. Yeah. The Republicans might get a foothold in our government. That's your biggest fear? Uh -huh. We just had that two years ago. Your biggest fear? Mr. Time Traveler, um, that's already happened. Not yet. 
Okay. My, my biggest fear personally would be that that we might have a shortage of fear. Probably grizzly bears. <laughs> ah, so it's good. So we do have a definite co-bear nation man here. Snakes and bears. What is my biggest fear? Oh. Um, oh, don't look at her like that. My biggest fear, I can't say it. She's right next to me. Uh, at the moment, I'll have to say some grizzlies. <laughs> well, not a lot of chance of that here in MacArthur Park, so I think your fear will be allayed, at least for the moment. Or will it? Boosh. Uh, wow, that's a tough one. I don't really think too much about that. I, I'd rather not worry about the things I fear and just concentrate on making my life better. Do you hear that, Stephen? He has no fear. It has not worked. He's not afraid of bears. The lack of Americans sort of seemingly desire to look beyond like a 20 second sound bite and really. Oh, time's up. I only have 20 seconds for this. Sorry. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, just that everyone like takes things at face value and won't actually look behind to see what the motivations are or really like what truth is in a statement. So that is bothersome to me. Great. So we have people here that are sane and not fearful. So look out, crazies, we're on your tail. Uh, I don't like snakes. They kind of creep me out. That's all I got for now. <laughs> She's, you're going with hers, okay. Tea parties. Clowns. Clowns, scary tea party clowns. That would be really bad. My biggest fear is that everybody starts hating each other so much for no reason that we just have a terrible America for my children. What, what, what are you most afraid of? Um. Being able to live. You're afraid of being able to live? You don't want things to get in the way of that, huh? <laughs> live in peace. Boy, my biggest fear is for uh, the Republicans, frankly, to get uh, what they want. What do they want? I think they want total world domination. You heard it here, here, folks. No head stomping, no spazzes, and no world domination. And don't tase me, bro. So you want to make sure that if the middle ground is listened to, that we'll find a way to work together and move forward, not find ways to shut things down and stop the flow that's already going. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, we've come through a couple of hard years, uh, and I think that had there not been so much political uh, dogma in Washington with the uh, opposing parties, that we would have come out a lot better, a lot faster. Well, there you have it. See, the people who come to these kinds of rallies are not people who are just here to yell and scream and tell people they're wrong. They're people that want to see a country that is united because we're more alike than we are different. Thanks for your time. Thanks for coming out. So here we are. The rally is over. We had a good turnout. The weather ended up being nice for us. And we're following up of what we started with this morning. We're seeing how people felt about the rally, if it inspired them, gave them new ideas, or disappointed them. But I felt like it was an indeed a reasonable message. A reasonable message. We like that. What would you think? Uh, it was entertaining, and John Stewart's speech at the end was pretty incredible. It was well done. I thought it was great. I was very entertained. It's a good time. I laughed a lot. Met some great people. I think a lot of people are scared. A lot of people are fearful, and a lot of people are they're just they're just reaching for straws because they're at the end of the rope, and they're out of jobs, and they. They don't know who to blame. They don't know what what the right answer is. So they they go to fear, and they're and they're being played upon uh, with the fear card by the different uh, parties that are out there. I am still optimistic and still uh, crazy enough to believe in um, in humanity. So she's here to restore her sanity, so that craziness is worn off, so she no longer has hope that we'll make it through this. Thank you, Elaine, and thank you for your time. <laughs> Thanks. My biggest fear, uh, you know, uh, I've been challenged very much. I've been out of work a lot the last couple of years and on unemployment, and it's been scary. I don't know if I'm going to be homeless or not in the next few months or not because uh, life is that uncertain. And that's why we need to restore sanity and we need to minimize the fear so that people like Michael no longer have to wonder what their future holds and if they're even going to have a roof over their heads. Thanks for your time, Michael. Enjoy the rally.